Good afternoon. Today is October 17, 2017. And we're actually over here at our 116th William Street. It's actually a home and shelter um, for our women, African American women, or minority women actually find themselves in different dangers. My name is Daniel Evans. I'm the CEO of Obama Data. I'm actually with Latoya. Latoya. Child again. We got, we got Latoya Child again. Um, she's actually going to tell you her story briefly about what's happening outside the shelter. Just letting you know what well, I am a data is an organization that actually provides an advocacy, civil advocacy for people that's come out of prison and for disenfranchised populations. So we're actually dealing with our communities right now and actually seeing the harm that's actually taking place. And the harm of the that wants to get into the system, that wants to get into the system, and now the system will not be that you can get the same thing that you can get in that you can get have to actually provide I used to work, of course, it's not a situation where I've always been homeless. I just got into the situation maybe about uh, June when I lost my, I used to live in a shared room with somebody and she had to leave her family in New York. And I pretty much, I had to leave Uh, William Street, 116 William Street, and you know, I've been here off and on. I, I came in June and I left in July. I tried to go through the past system. They gave, give you a hard time too because they told me I was disqualified because they couldn't verify my address. So I came back here. So I've been here about two months now. This is supposed to be an assessment show. So I've been sitting here for two months. Almost okay. three months trying to trying to get to another to transfer to another shelter. So you basically over the timeline, over as the far time, as actually being in the system. Yes. Um, what, are, what what does the conditions actually look like inside the system? As far as I mean, you you you, you got to get to see everything searched. Like you can't have food inside, which I don't understand because the food inside there is horrible. The first day I ate my ate food there, I got sick. I got a, a stomach virus for a whole. 24 hours. Um, what, what else? They have food that you can purchase. So I don't see why you can't bring your own food if you can buy food. Um, mm. Yeah. I talked to an uh, elder woman probably like two months ago um, when I was in the area. And she said, um, this place is worse than prison. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see how it's being compared to prison. I can definitely see that. Because, um, they harass you. They feel like they have to call you because they they're not even providing the shelter. They're just supposed to protect us. But they, they act like they have some kind of authority over you to tell you what to do. Even people that don't have that position, janitors are telling you what to do over here. Which is crazy. I don't understand that. So basically, um, everybody being... feel like they, they have some kind of hold over you because you, you stay there. So because you because you fell from the economic goods of this country, right. you're basically uh, put on the foot. And anyone that has a job, whether it's picking up bottles, is more important than you because you're actually in shelter. No, but the thing is, I had a job. I lost my job because of the shelter. Because I had to keep up with their appointments and I had to uh, do whatever they told me to do so I could stay there. So I lost my job. No protection for you to make a transition into the shelter if you were to lose your space to protect the things you're going have in place as far as you're I don't think so. I don't and then think you're so. saying that they search you so. as far as they search you every day like you're in prison. Yeah, absolutely. So this is my question. Have you ever been in prison? No. So if you've never been in prison, how are you how able to correlate like... this place to a prison environment? Exactly, because it, it feels like it. It, it has, it, that, it, it has a... I, I know. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's crazy, but the, the, look at the gates. You have gates with barbed wires over it. You have the security check. Like, it feels like you got to get up at a certain time. You can't go back to your bed to get certain things. That you can feel like prison. And I've never been to prison. Oh, I guess before you I get mean, the it's, it's, I guess like it's common knowledge. Oh, yeah. 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 It 
thing with this place also, um, it's how to consider mental health issues and that's a table oh, in our communities. Yep. And it's things like how, what, what have you seen in there as far as um, to address mental health that show you that well, you could be the next victim of this Well, I this see, component. I see certain, they have everybody in there. They have mental health patients, they have uh, prison patients, they have, uh, you know, regular people that work and just fell on bad time. They have everybody in there. That's so, they have everybody in there. And it's like, it's it's not fair, it's not properly separate. And they don't have enough 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 get time. They don't give enough people. To, they don't have the amount of time to just get people out of there. The flow is just it's not right. Two months for me, and they're too long. It's way too long. Do you feel Do you feel safe? Do you, do you I don't know. I we just we just gotta do. We just what's up, bro? What's good? How you doing? No, we just got a new um a new intake last night. That's crazy. So she shouldn't be in the same room. If she has mental issues, I don't see why she she should be in the room with somebody that does not. And have you seen any physical things on that Oh, yeah. Um, the shoulder that you're not seeing that uh, makes you uncomfortable? There, there are people, uh, well, people have it stuff. Even if we have, um, uh, um, I witnessed the other night workers arguing with each other. And the thing I want to say, too, because I remember before I had went to this space, and I said good morning to officers um, that's at the front, and they, no one said anything about Oh, yeah, they have attitude. Yeah, they all feel like they're entitled to, to people. So how do you improve on public safety the individuals that are supposed to help you in this regard do not? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Something has to be done. They should probably send an undercover in there. I, I was thinking earlier, I should wear a body camera and send it to the base. Samuel, she's a, actually the, the council member for the 40, 41st oh, district okay. that's over this unit. She's okay. responsible for all the shelters that has to take a place in this community I'd like to, to get ensure, in touch with her. I'd and like this is why we're actually her. doing this and yeah. so speak to her. I'm actually going to give you a copy of this as well. Um, she has an office. Her office is actually located on Rockaway and Pickett. Okay. Right? Not it's too far right, from here. Not too far from here. It's actually her direct address. Yeah, they didn't put her direct address on this one, but it's on Rockaway and Picken, right next to the business uh, on the test squad, quest, that quest place that I've been doing test, okay. the drug testing, something like that. She's right next door to them, I think it's like on the second and third floor. Yeah. But she is the individual that's actually responsible for making sure that the women that find themselves in these, in these systems, that's 116 Gordon Street, and we have another one that's on Julia Street, right? And the women are not being cared for in the community. And, and the, the workers are unprofessional. Then it's totally unprofessional. It's totally unprofessional. There's a lot of fraternization going on in here. Yeah, so this is one thing. Because I actually just came from an interview into a prison system. So I was in a place in the, in the prison system, which is uh, Rackers Island. And Rackers Island actually has started a new. Um, new approach to actually address the mental health. So they opened up a unit that would only house eight people instead of eight people. So they can address the difficult health of the And in fact, they're actually doing that within Rackers Island. They yeah. actually have to start doing that within the community. It's about to be. 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 Because you lost your space, because I want to show it to one time because I had a house fire. Does that mean that I'm unjust? It's, it's situations you understand? like so that. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's a blanket judgment that has no purpose yeah. other than allow people to think that they're above others. That's exactly what it is. So at this point now, That's I'm exactly fighting to show that we are the people, we are the data, mm -hmm. right? And we are going to make these changes that need to be taking place in our communities, mm -hmm. whether those that are supposed to be our leaders wish not for us to do so. Right. We're still going to be able to do it. And this is there's anything else that you want to actually share? Want to share? Um, I mean, you address pretty much everything I can think about. My problem is just why is it taking me so long to leave? I mean, are they getting money because I'm there? I don't understand why. Every I'm day. Still there. Every day they get money. It's time day. for me to go. Like I've been there long enough. Two months is, is way too. Actually, I've been there since August, September, October. 
Yeah, two months now. It's too. It's way too long, man. I'm tired of being in there. I'm getting. I'm seriously getting anxiety. Yeah. So what it is? What it is that you think right now that you could do? I'm, to, I'm to, looking for my own apartment. Yourself, I don't, I'm looking for a place for myself. I'm not waiting on that. I know, but what it falls as far as uh, anxiety that you're talking about? What are these certain things that you can do that while you're in a situation that you uh, can find some peace, that to, to be a help, to, to think healthy, to be healthy? Um, to pretty be much healthy. just be outside and hang out with my friends and, of course, try to help myself continue to, you know, look for work now yeah. and try to find my own place and do it, do it by myself. I'm not going to rely on it. And, and, I don't and, see the point. And there's no point you when you be in a system where you cannot rely on the system to take care of you when oh, the system relies on you to take care of it. No. So we have to understand that there's, there's no big out and little use when we're dealing with people and systems because we are one and the same. One cannot exist without the other. Mm-hmm. And we're constantly um, uprooting each other by, by, by placating to systems and not people. Right. So what's happening now in the society is that we care about businesses more than we care about people. Mm-hmm. We need to start caring about people that create businesses uh-huh, so uh-huh. we can continue to grow as a nation of people and not have these swinging scales that individuals think that they preview to. Mm-hmm. Right? We're all privy to the, what's happening in society yeah, because sure. we are in the society. We are the people. We are the data. This is why I call the information I am the data mm-hmm. because I want everybody to understand that this is for all of us. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? One of the key know. points of the organization is that individuals go on the site and actually upload photos. Okay. Those photos and pictures actually happening to them, something that's highly happened in, a, in that moment, say, mm-hmm. this is what's happening at this location right, right. here. This is what happened to us as a people. So we can start bringing about some keynote awareness to what's taking place in people's lives. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, and this is the reason why I'm a dad that's here and what we can do. And before I leave, I change of information with you. So okay. Reach out to me. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Profile, my Twitter page. And we can... right, so, Latoya, you're coming down to the end of our interview. Okay. I actually appreciate the time. I said, give me about uh-huh. this issue, which is very important to our community. Okay. Um, any other, I'm actually provide you all my information so we can link. Mm-hmm. And any individuals that actually want to talk about this, we can actually Absolutely. set up a group session right. for us to actually talk about the like, to one to be able to sit down around the table and actually discuss the issue. And how do we safeguard each other and while we're going through these different changes? You know, as I see looking at our actuaries, came up with this early because on Facebook you can find a lot of free events like salsa dancing, open mic singing. So you can preserve yourself so when you come out of here, you're not lost. Right. You don't have a mixed health, mixed health diagnosis, you don't turn yourself into a prostitute, you know, you ain't identify yourself as a victim. We want you to be able to come out of these systems and empower, right. at least what these That's systems wrong. are for is to empower us. Nah, it, it don't feel like it. And, it don't, and if it doesn't yeah. feel like that means that something has to be addressed. Yeah. And we have to change Absolutely. the texture of the water. Exactly. I agree. I, I, I'm definitely down. Mm-hmm. Thank nice you. Meeting. Nice to meet no you. No problem. All right.